Okay, so the work check checker, what it does is uh, it would create a few 3D views corresponding to the number of works that basically, and it would then go in for each 3D view, hide all the works that, but the one that it's associated with. And it's, a, it's not an automatic thing, meaning that if you introduce new work sets, the new work set would, of course, be um, present with its default settings in those views. So what you then can do is rerun the, the plugin, which would um, get rid of the, the old set of views and um, re redo the thing with the new work sets as well. So that's something to keep in mind, but it you click on it, it would, as long as the project is work shared, it would then create work sets starting with work set view. And on them, it would like I said, have all the work set hidden, but the current one or the one that it's associated on show. And that's obviously useful when you want to go through the different elements and maybe you have um, elements which should be on a different work set or work work set one and they should be moved somewhere else or checking shared levels and grids, whether they're in the correct place. So yeah, that, that can be very, very useful for this um, scenarios. I think this is the absolute favorite of all the um, oh, really? for me, mine. Yes, yes. I find it very, very useful dealing with complex models.